oh yeah, koi wolves are a thing, they're taking over, and that could be a problem. Now normally coyotes and wolves hate each other with every kind of prejudice. But with the wolf population nearly getting put in the gulag by a certain hairless primate, some wolves decided that a coyote was their last option. To be fair, weirder things have happened. Just ask the Growler Bears. This wolf-coyote collab resulted in a candid with both parents' DNA. Which is why we now have koi wolves. And most koi wolves have some dog in them, and that I can't even explain. Now here's why it could be a problem. Wolves are fluffy tanks, but they're naturally afraid of people. Coyotes are born giving less of a but they're not really big enough to really be a threat, unless you're like somebody's cat. Mixing them together is like playing Jurassic Park with puppies. So what you have now is an animal that isn't as afraid of people as wolves and can live around people, while also being bigger than a normal coyote. To be fair, they're not really that dangerous to people and would still rather avoid you than fight you. Your pets are a different story with a worse ending. But in their defense, the only reason they exist is because we drained the wolves' dating pool to the point where they had to start piping coyotes. One thing about nature, she bites back, 